This is Clover's hot hammer. The first thing anyone ever notices about this is its shape, but I want to talk about the shape and the importance of that later. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the construction. It's actually made out of a nylon fiberboard. It has a couple very in unique features about this. The first is that you can actually put a hot iron right on it and then just pick it up seconds later and it'll be warm to the touch but not so hot that we can't pick it up and move it and manipulate it so we can continue on with our pressing process. The other feature is while this lays on our fabric and it does not slide at all, it doesn't stick either so it makes it easy to move this around when we're working on our project. Now, one of the things that you notice also is that we have several markings on this so the most prominent are bolded but the hot hammer allows us to actually fold our fabric and iron it all in one motion. So it's very quick to put our, our seams wherever we want them to be. We can either do that or if we wanted to do like a mitered corner, it's a master of mitered corners. You just fold it over on the 45 degree line marking, fold the edges in, and then you press it in place, and then we'll have a perfect 45 degree line for our mitered corner. Sometimes we need to iron in a curved shape for example, if we're going to do patch pockets, we can simply put the curve shape where we want the patch pocket to be, gather our fabric around, and then just iron it in place. And then when we're done, we're clear. I mean, we just need to trim this, turn it around, and applique it on our shirt or whatever we want to do. We also have this handy little cutout. What the cutout allows us to do is to measure in and over at the same time. So if we want to square up the bottom of a bag, or we want to place buttons, or any type of placement where we need to measure in both directions at the same time, it really cuts down our work on that. Now we have a lot of people who really liked the way this works, but they say that we need to move this too many times to do a long seam. So Clover listened to that and we actually developed what we call our hot ruler. Instead of six inches long, it is 10 inches long. And this just allows us to do the same functions, but we're ironing in longer strips at each time, and that saves us a lot of time. So, whether you want to have all the features of the hot hammer or the efficiencies of the hot ruler, either one or both of these belong in your sewing studio. As always, we're interested in your thoughts. Please comment below. I'm Steve Butler. That's been Tool School.